And so welcome to our time of Compline, our prayer at the end of the day. The prayer we say before settling ourselves to sleep. I'm Reverend Anne and I am the vicar in the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. And it is good to welcome you here. Anne, our church warden, will be responding and I invite you to join with her in the responses. And so let's just fill our hearts, draw ourselves, knowing ourselves to be in God's presence. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven heaven and earth. And so let's pause and run through in our mind what our day has been today. The blessings we've received and the things that have challenged us. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for sleep. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. The Lord is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart, for the idols are legion that many run after. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches, he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also 
shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The Lord is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Let us pray. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self. For you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from Holy Scripture this evening comes from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. That you will give us a quiet night and a perfect end. We pray to you, O Lord. That you will have mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this night without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guard us and give us your blessing. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Anne, Saint Christopher and all your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick. Give rest to the weary. Sustain the dying. Calm the suffering and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. The kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining with us this evening. I pray that you have a good night. And the next time we can be together to worship will be on Sunday morning at 10.30 in St. Anne's Church, where we will celebrate with morning worship that will also be online and live streamed via Facebook. In the afternoon, we will be gathering for a picnic at 2.30 in St. Christopher's Church grounds when we celebrate Diane's reader ministry. And that will conclude with a service of Holy Eucharist at 4 p.m. in St. Christopher's Church. Again, that will be in person and live streamed. So whenever we see you next, I pray in the meantime, you know God's blessings. Good night. Good night.